The mods like their music American, the clothes French, but their wheels strictly Italian. But if you were on seven quid a week and your mother let you keep three, then a Ferrari probably wasn't for you. However, with the newfangled HP, not quite the next best thing was a Lambretta. <laughs> In gonnellino balli l'ambre twist Con il codino balli l'ambre twist Con le maracas tra le piante di banana Nelle notti indiane balli l'ambre twist So it seems fitting that the only museum in the world dedicated to the Lambretta water scooter is here in the solemnly respectable seaside resort of Western Superman Tell me, Nigel, were you a mod? Yes, I was in 1967. And have you had scooters ever since? No, I've been collecting now for about the last nine years. Have you got your first Lambetta? Not anymore, no, I've sold that. Yeah, but whereas most people would have bought another or possibly two to replace it, you've got 85. About that, you know, I buy one, I sell one and acquire another one, yes. And this is the only complete collection of everything that Lambetta ever made in the world. This is about the biggest collection in the world, yes, as well as the scooters, I have all the memorabilia. Yeah, you collect everything to do with Lambretta. So what's your favourite piece of ephemera? I think that poster up there with Jane Mansfield sitting on a Lambretta. She's not the first person you'd associate with a scooter, is she? No, but I mean, Lambretta were very big in those days and they had... She was very big in those days That's well. right. <laughs> well, well, listen, Nigel, it's all very well and good, all this business of having 80-odd bikes, but do any of them go? They all go. So that's the very first Lambretta. Doesn't look much like a scooter. Now this is a Model A, 1947, 125cc. Very rare model, basically for Italy, as you can see, it's got no panels on it. What about the one I'm riding? Now this looks more like a Lambretta. Uh, that's an LD electric start. Uh, people will recognise that one. Um, that's 1957 and 150cc. Now that's a smart machine. This is a Lambretta Rally Master, made in about 1961-62. That's a special edition, uh, basically for competition work, turning front mud guard, stone scraper, and even a handle if you got stuck in the mud. This thing I'm riding looks like an escape from a 50s B movie. Well, that was 1957. Now, that's the first Lambretta with four speeds. It's a chain drive model. It was to launch Lambretta's great success. <laughs> well, what's that you're riding, Nigel? Well, this one's a J range. The particular one is a 50cc. I had to go to Italy to get it because they never imported these to England. <laughs> Was it worth it? Well, <laughs> not compared to the one you're riding, no. No, this I like. Yeah, that's 1971. That's the last Lambretta they produced and it's got an electronic ignition on it. As you'll probably tell, very smooth. Nigel Lambretta never made a car, did they? No, this is a Lambro 175 and it's the closest they ever got. I think I'll stick to the scooter. Better headroom. Status as a fashion icon, the Lambretta meant freedom and excitement. <laughs> <laughs>